Hi there, my name is Dan Harris and welcome to OneSite TV. Uh, today I'm going to show you a really handy block uh, we use now and again. Now this block gives us the ability to actually look at min, max and averages over a floor or say fan core units. Well, I've got a lot of pseudo points here within folders. So you can see fan core units from one to 30. What I want to use this block for is to actually go and look at every single point within this folder, say a heating valve and look at the demand. So if I say have a heating demand of over a set amount of percentage over the floor, I then want to enable the heating plant. So to be able to do that without having to use lots of min max blocks is etc and linking them all together, just one handy block by using a BQL query, we are able to actually go out and extrapolate the data so we can use that and actually rather than keep going back and doing a link in etc, which saves you lots of pain and hassle, I'm actually just going to use one block and use a BQL out of that to actually extrapolate that data as I said. So I'm going to dump this min max average block. And this is out the Vicon Pro. Now to be able to use a Vicon Pro service within Vicon, you need to dump the Vicon Pro service within my services. So I've got that there, that gives the ability to use it. I've actually already done this for my Vicon Pro palette. And I'm gonna go into my min max average BQL. Now what I'm gonna want this block to actually do is to actually use wildcards to look at a certain name. So within my fan coil units, I've just made some pseudo points and I've called them heat and valve all without throughout our system. So I'm actually going to go click this little point here and go BQL Query Builder. I'm actually going to save it rather than look through the whole station. I'm going to point it directly at my software folder, which these fan core units reside in. And then I'm going to call it the man. I'm going to ask it to look for the name that equals heating valve. Okay. I'm actually going to put a facet in there. I'm actually going to use a zone identifier because otherwise it would sit there and just say heating valve. Every single point's called heating valve. So I'm going to try and actually make the point a bit more unique. What I'm going to use is going to paste that back in there and use the parent name. So we'll actually be able to use the fan coin one, two, three, as well as what we're actually looking at within our naming convention. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So I'm going to go parent dot and I'll save that. To speed things up, we've got certain settings here, but I'm just going to right click actions and initialize list. And it's already found 30 points. So if I come back out and we actually look at what's going on. So currently I've asked this to look inside my software folder, to look for a point called heating valve. And I've asked it to actually identify it by using the parent name. And as you can see, it's now populated with data. Now this can update every minute, every 30 seconds, whatever you choose so. But as you can see later, we've got an average of the floor, the summation, which is probably not very helpful in this case, the minimum valve position, which is fan coin unit 11, and the maximum, which is fan coin unit 12. So you're actually able, very easily, by using a simple naming convention, to go and get that data and choose if you want to be able to enable the boiler system. So as I say, this was a very quick video. It's a very simple block. Um, we'll be throwing a few more of these for the Vicon Pro and various modules that we find within Niagara to make our lives easier. So I hope you find this helpful. There's a couple of versions of this on the system. Feel free to have a go and feel free to have a look at some of our other videos. Um, feel free to subscribe and leave any comments or questions. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.